You're probably wondering why do you keep relapsing? Why do you keep falling into this loop? And what I want to tell you is just because you relapse does not mean that you're a failure. It doesn't mean that your journey is tarnished. It is a learning experience. And you have to learn in life that losses, what people call losses, are truly lessons. There's always something to learn from something. You learn more from losing. So when you relapse, I want you to do this exercise. And I don't want you to relapse. But if you do, this is what I need you to do. Stop and think, why did I do this? Not, not the basic, I want it to feel good. Think about what triggered you to do that. Were you up late at night and you were lonely and you used this as a crutch to help you fall asleep? Were you scrolling on social media and you seen something that, you know, stimulated you? Did somebody text you something and it made you get stimulated? What was it that happened? What was it that happened? What triggered you to do these things? And, and, and why, why are you telling us this, Shaman? Why are you telling us this? Because you need to remove whatever is triggering you. If you were in a room, right? And every time a bull came in it, you jumped and bounced around and you hit your head. And every time you would bleed, you would fall out, you would go unconscious, you would get sick for 10 years straight, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't when you recover, wouldn't you not want a bull to come in that room? Wouldn't you not want whatever triggers you and sets you off to harm yourself and put yourself at a lower level or harm your progress? Wouldn't you want to remove that out of your life? Well, you have to do that with this, with this addiction, because the world is full of lust. Lust is being promoted every day. Lust is the new cigarettes. It's everywhere. All these social media companies are sitting behind these paywalls, just working with each other. Like, all right, how are we going to enslave all these young minds into getting into this? Because there's just so much money to be made. Like, and, and you don't understand, you don't even have to pay for it to make them make money. Only fans is like a small percentage of the problem, right? You can literally go search up any woman in this world with any build, any look, any eye shape. It don't matter. You can find them all. Access is extremely high extremely high anybody can go and find anything and now it's being thrown in your face so you scrolling on tiktok and they got all these trends with these women you know what i'm saying doing all these these little dances and stuff and you see see all these ladies being exploited all over the line and it's it's triggering your brain Ooh, i i wonder what she looks like underneath or let let, let me go go ahead and get get this this cheap dopamine from the hub it's triggering you right you staying up to three o'clock in the morning and you texting this girl and she talking dirty to you or, you know, y'all talking dirty to each other. And now you sitting here alone in the room, in the dark, by yourself, triggered, wanting to get off. And here comes the succubus, comes in to hold you down, milk you, and then leave you feeling dirty, sticky, and nasty. And now you're upset, wondering, oh, I... I relapse again, but I don't know why. Yes, you do, my brother. Yes, you do. And I'm telling you this because I know I've been through it. Y'all know this. I'm not talking at y'all. I'm talking to y'all and I'm speaking to myself because I got to remind myself of these things every day. Last night, I got urges to watch it. Me got urges to watch it. And I'm not better than nobody. I had urges to watch it last night. And guess what I did? I said, man, hell no. I laid down and I went to sleep. That's what I did. Now, I understand it's not that easy for everybody. It's like telling a homeless person to just go get a house. I understand. You got to work up to that point. But the reason why I'm able to do that is because, one, I just blocked a girl the other day. I seen she posted some half-naked stuff. She was dancing. Like, it was an unnecessary picture. She bent over. Like, you couldn't even see her head. She was trying to look back in the camera, but it was just lustful. And I, I, I also think it's very disgusting how... These people post these things that literally promote and influence lust and then get mad when people are lustful. So let, let me be a drug dealer. Let me be a drug dealer. But get mad at drug addicts. You're providing it. Now, rightfully so, we all have to take accountability. You consumed it, right? So you take responsibility for that. But we, we can't be pointing fingers here. 
we always got to revert back to self. You can't worry about what other people are doing. Revert back to self. What triggered you? You have the opportunity. You have the control to get these things out of your life. I'm going to say it a million times. When you see these things online, block them, unfollow them, dislike them, report them. Make the algorithms know that this is not what you want to see. And if it's just that bad, if you're really serious about it, delete social media. It's going to be the biggest problem. It's going to be the biggest problem. You're overstimulated. You're getting saturated with this lustful stuff and it's leading you to Pornhub. TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat is all working together to send you to Pornhub, to send you to these websites because there's softcore porn on there. And now it's getting to the point where there's softcore porn and cartoons. Sometimes it's hardcore. It's literally everywhere. So you have to take the responsibility. You have to really examine yourself and see what is triggering me. What is leading me back to this point? Now, I do understand that your mind is wired to think about these things, especially when you have made a habit out of it and it's an addiction to you. But I guarantee you, I guarantee and I want y'all to comment. Tell me what's one of your triggers. Was it some TV show you was watching? Was it some movie? Is it the social media? Like, really tell me. I, I want to see some accountability in the comments. Because for me, it was social media. For me, it was movies. For me, it was having a hypersexual mind and then the girls flirting with me at school. Or girls, you know, we... we... <laughs> Man, I don't want to revisit those thoughts, but I have to. I have to. Because that's not fair. I can't... You know what I mean? And that's why I hate when people don't want to talk about this. And they feel like taking this high road or, oh, couldn't happen to me and all this. Or I'm not going to talk. Nobody would get that information out of me. You're not helping nobody. And you're hurting yourself. So who's really losing? Everybody. And do you think by sharing your story, sharing what happened to you or what's going on that you're losing, but you're not? Because not only are you helping people, but you're helping yourself. And see, people don't think about that trap. Let me hold in the things that have traumatized me. Let me hold in the things that I'm disgusted about myself. Also, why not helping anybody, right? Versus the person that lets out the things that has hurt them while helping other people and helping themselves. You see how many problems in this world could be fixed by just opening up? And now I do understand we get scrutinized for opening up. That's why a lot of people don't. But we got to stop caring, man. We got to stop caring. This world is going to turn on us anyway. We got to help each other out. We got to build these small communities with each other. And we got to be there for each other. I told y'all I was going to be there for y'all. And I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all here for me. Y'all helping me. And one of the things I thought about, too, I'm going to be honest with you. One of the things I thought about when I had the urges last night was, bro, how sick would I feel about myself if I really fell to these um, urges, but I'm sitting here preaching about this stuff online, preaching to these good people. And I do understand people make mistakes. And, you know, if I ever do fall into that, I would let y'all know just to show y'all that no matter where you are in life, you can always fall, but it's not about how you fall. It's about how you respond. It's about how you recover. And you think, if you're on a battlefield and you slip, think about what made you slip. Was it you planting your foot too far outside of your body? Was it you moving too fast and not being balanced? What made you fall? And you learn from that and you come back stronger every time. When you fall again, you learn and you come back stronger every time. You are not a failure. You are not trapped. You're just blocking yourself from getting out. You're allowing these distractions to block you. And they can't truly block you, but you're allowing them to. And what I'm really trying to tell you is you just have way more control than you think, but you have to take it back. Because we own this, man. We own it. So, if y'all need me, y'all know y'all got me. Y'all know y'all got me. I try to respond as soon as possible. I'm a busy guy. But I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing this for us. Because we got to get out of this, man. We got to beat this war. It is a war on us as people, not just men, on us, on us. And we got to stick together. So I love y'all. Always nice talking to you. 
would love to hear about your progress and um, I'll talk to you soon.